Hey everybody, MaxMonty1516 here, back again with another very impromptu unboxing video. But today I received a package from Japan that I wasn't expecting to get for another couple of weeks. It came really early for some reason. But here it is. It's pretty, pretty big. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. And I just want to take a look at it. So I've already opened up the top here, but nothing else inside. So there is a look. There's a lot that's going to be in this video, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to take just off the top here, here is Playrail Ashima, as you could probably tell through the bubble wrap, and I'm just going to cut this off camera really quickly. There we go. And out comes Ashima, just like, just like that, perfect. So there she is, and there's a good look at her. She's in pretty good condition. She's a bit harder to find on auction sites, and I didn't want to pay a lot for one new in box. So yeah, she's in pretty good condition, like I said. I like her. I like the model. Um, it's not the best Playrail's ever put out. Far from it, but I, I still like it. Pretty nice. And then also, here is a yellow or orange tanker. It's more orange in person than on camera. But as you can see there, it's orange and blue. It's got like this like Indian pattern logo design. I like it. And I'll put that there. And then last thing is a brake van. And I definitely don't have enough brake vans, so this is really nice to have. It's got this neat little flower pattern. I like that. And yeah, I like the colors on this. So I like the sort of matching blue that all three of them have. You know, I got the blue on Ashima, then on the tanker, then on the brake van. Pretty nice pack, actually. I like this a lot. So let me go ahead move that and let's just grab something else from in here and right here uh this is a playrail or tomi oliver coach now this is my second one of these i have one before from a previous haul i got from the same website which is d japan by the way i don't think i mentioned that earlier but yeah this is another d japan unboxing so there is oliver's coach pretty nice i like the color on this it's very very cool so yeah, these are not hard to find at all actually on that site. I find them quite often. So I decided to pick them up. So yeah, uh, here, like I said, this is the second one. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay, next up, I think I'm gonna pick something a little bit smaller. So right here, I have a Capsule Playrail Edward. What Edward it is, you guys will see in just a second, but it's a pretty, a pretty cool one actually. I like it a lot. And if I could just, you know, cut that tape open, that'd be great. So here we go, uh, opening him right up. There's some bubble wrap. And as you can see there, it is a shocked Edward. And I love that face. This is a really nice model. So this was super cheap. It was like three bucks or something. So there he is. Does he work? Of course he works. And there's a look. What year is he from? He is from 2005. That's pretty interesting. So there he is. Pretty good model. This is my third Edward in the capsule series. But yeah, I, I like that face a lot. So let's see here, uh, what am I gonna grab next? I think, you know, this is this is probably good. And this is a super, super cool item. You can definitely see it through that bubble wrap. But yeah, uh, let me just, again, cut the bubble wrap just like so, and get in there. This is amazing. This is one of the best toys in the entire Tex range. It's George. And of course, I said this is the Bondi Tex Wow, I am very, very impressed. He looks fantastic. There is a look at the face there. He's got all this gold detailing. The wheels are super big, actually. Look at that. There's a look at the back, some coal bunkers. The cab is completely intact, surprisingly, because, you know, you see a lot of these where the cab is broken off. And the flywheel does turn. I don't know if that comes across on camera or not, but, yeah, very nice. He doesn't steer, or he does a little bit, but not too much. And yeah, I love the Tex George model. This is incredible. And to be honest, whenever George appears in my series again, I'm probably going to use this model. Next, um, oh, this is a good one. Okay. So again, I can just tear this bubble wrap right off. This is pretty thin, actually. And I'm sure you guys can tell what this is. But right here, this is the Tomica Bumblebee James, or Busy Bee James, or whatever you want to call them. Now, this is super special to me for one reason, and that is I sort of have this goal. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but I love it. I'm trying to get every toy they made of Busy B. James in, like, every merchandise range. 
And now that I have this Tomica model, uh, that leaves the Bachman one left. And I'll get the Bachman one at some point. I'm going to have to fork over a lot of money for it. But yeah, um, aside from Bachman, I now have every single Busy Bee, Busy Bee James toy. And there is a good look at him. I really don't think I've showed Tomica much on my channel. I don't even know if I've showed it at all. But I've got a pretty decent sized collection of it. And there is that James. Okay, next, I'm just going to close my eyes and grab something. So, okay. Well, we have something here. I actually <laughs> can't really see. That bubble wrap is thick. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay. Now I have an idea what this is. Wow, this is... Holy cow, this bubble wrap is really thick. All right. Okay, and out he comes. Who is this? It's Ben. It's Atomica Ben. So, like I just said, um, you know... Tomica stuff, I collect it. Bill and Ben are my favorite characters, so here's Ben, and I wanted Ben, and I like him a lot. So the detail here, it's really nice. Interestingly, he's got these back wheels that move. Uh, they're kind of hidden, but kind of not, so he's got this fake wheel in the middle there. Uh, some side rod detailing. Uh, yeah, this is a really nice model, actually. I quite like it. These little collectible toys are super nice. Uh, yeah. Wish these Tomica, uh, Thomas toys ever made it to the U.S., but they didn't, so... You know, kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, I think this is another Tomica item right here. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and get that open. It's Toby. It's our good, good friend, Toby. And let me just go ahead and cut the top of that plastic open. And let's get him out of there. So, Tomica Toby. He is super nice. Wow. He does have um, these fake wheels underneath there. They look pretty much identical, actually. Wow. You would not be able to tell from a distance. But yeah, Tomica Toby's super cool. Good face, good detail. Very nice model. Uh, great job, Tomica. One day I'd love to do a video showing all my Tomica items, because like I said, I don't think I've ever showed them on my channel. And if I have, well, I guess I have. So yeah. Uh, here's something. I think I know what this is. Maybe. Uh, perhaps. Okay, yep, now I know what this is. Uh, here we go. There's a couple of bubble-wrapped pieces. <coughs> oh, yeah. Uh, come on. There we go. And there he is. It's Angry Henry. And that's one of the best capsule faces they've ever made. I love that so much. And this guy was also super cheap. Came from the same seller as the surprised Edward did. So then, like, in the foam here, there's the tender. And this is my third capsule Henry, I think maybe fourth i'm not entirely sure but yeah love this guy i got him purely for the face he, he's great i love that so much so yeah and just capsule henry in general it's just a very very nice model very impressive so uh let me go ahead and grab something else oh oh this is a big one okay let me go ahead and cut this open and i uh, almost got him oh, okay he just I don't know if that caught on camera, but I ripped this bag open, and he just flew over the camera and straight into my face. But here he is. You guys can probably tell. It is Play Rail Birdie. And this is a special Play Rail Birdie because it's Play Rail Train Birdie. And he's got engine wheels. So this is one of the funniest Play Rail toys ever made. I wanted him so badly just so I could have a birdie to run on the rails. And just recently, I'm sure you all know who Unlucky Tug is, and he um, spotlighted this birdie in his most recent Play Rail video. That was super entertaining, and I was thinking to myself, man, that's really cool. I have one of those on the way, and lo and behold, here he is. Of course, no battery in him or anything. Just look at the bottom. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so there's Birdie. Love him. And I cannot wait to just get this guy and run him on a layout or something. That's super cool. Okay, we're getting a bit closer to the end now, so I'm going to take out this next one. It's another Tomica item. I did buy a lot of Tomica in this uh, specific batch here. So now to rip the bubble wrap open, never gets old. And it's Donald. And there he is. I love him. He's really, really nice. Um, yeah. So again, they're just so detailed. They're so nice looking. Good face. Yeah, I, I have nothing bad to say about any, any Tomica models, really. So yeah, there is Douglas, and he looks super cool. And I'll just give you guys a quick look at that. And yeah, moving on. Uh, let's see here. What is next? Let's see. I'm just going to pull out this paper. 
All right, uh, there's a couple things left in here. So next, another kind of small one. And let me just go ahead and pull them out. And you guys can, I'm sure you can tell what character it is. Come on. There he is. Almost. Sort of. Not really. There he is. It is the Nakayoshi Scarloe. I really hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, uh, here's Scarloe in the Nakayoshi range. I like him a lot. I love the Nakayoshi toys, especially the narrow gauge engines. They look fantastic. And there he is. So I have most of the Nakayoshi narrow gauge engines now. I'm only missing Peter Sam, I think. Yeah, I think Peter Sam is the only one left I don't have. And Sir Handel. I don't have Sir Handel either. But yeah, uh, now I have Scarloe, and he's super cool. And yeah, you can pretty you can find them pretty easily on this site, and they're pretty cheap. They're they can be cheap. Uh, this thing, I think this Scarloe is like seven six dollars. So yeah, there he is. Very nice face, nice detail. All plastic, of course, and uh, there's a look at the bottom. Yeah, really, really cool. And speaking of Nakayoshi, uh, I have another item here. And I'm sure you can tell who that is just by that little glimpse there. This bubble wrap is also very, very difficult. I think I hit the tripod. That is really tightly wrapped bubble wrap, by the way. I Wow, okay, come on. And I, <laughs> okay, need to stop hitting that tripod. Oh, geez, I feel like I'm going to damage it. This thing is so, so tightly wrapped up. My knife can barely cut through this bubble wrap. It's so thick. Okay, come on. There he is. It is the Nakayoshi James. And he doesn't, he doesn't have side rods. I don't really care. But yeah, there's James. And he's like my second standard gauge engine in the range. I've been mainly focusing on the narrow gauge engines, but I saw this for a dollar. I'm not even kidding, a dollar. So now, uh, Nakayoshi James is mine. There he is. So, the only other standard gauge character I have in the Nakayoshi range at the moment is Boko. So, you know, James and Boko, there you go. Uh, very nice shiny gold dome. Wow, and same with the safety valve. Or no, that's the whistle, not the safety valve. I'm a little bit stupid. Anyway, uh, you know, just super nice detail. Very, very proportional. And yeah, I love the Nakayoshi range, and I love James. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so I've got the final items here, and these are all very special, so I'm going to go ahead and take out this first. It's a Playrail Thomas, and a very special Playrail Thomas at that. So, quickly going to just rip that off of him. And it is the Playrail Steelworks Thomas. So he's got, like, soot on his face. That's a great face variant, by the way. Very nice to have another Playrail Thomas. Uh, you know, Playrail Thomas can't go wrong with him. He just, he just looks great. I, I've always loved this model in particular. So, yeah, uh, there's a good look at Thomas there. Again, not too much to say. It is just a stock standard body with a special face there. I like the face. It's pretty cool. And if you know what set this is from, then you know what's what you know what's next. So yeah, let's go ahead and move this guy. And well, here he is. Finally, after so long, I have been searching and searching. And I have Playrail Merlin. Okay, here he is. And I don't think he has a battery. No, he doesn't. So you're probably wondering why he has black wheels, and I'll get to that in just a moment. And he has kind of scratched up, so, you know, I can probably go and fix that. But honestly, I don't even care. I am just so happy to finally have him. It's taken me so long. You guys have, I've been searching for this Playrail Merlin for years. And I saw Merlin and Thomas together, and I just had to jump on it. I mean, I, I couldn't not pass it up. I've never seen a Playrail Merlin go for as cheap as I got mine. So yeah, there's Merlin, great face, just great model in general. And now, uh, really quickly, let's go and open this part. Because this is the most interesting part. Um, probably wondering what this is, if you don't know. Because, you know, Playrail Merlin, the Histrom, is kind of complicated in a way. So yeah, yeah, I can just go and open that. So there is uh, the chassis, the original chassis for Playrail Merlin. Now, for those who don't know, it's kind of, honestly, a little bit scummy what they did but basically Merlin was unpowered in the set and they wanted you to go out and buy another engine just so you could use a motorized chassis for Merlin I never liked that that I thought that was really lame and you know Merlin was unpowered and all so this is the original chassis that was given to him and yeah as you can see obviously there is no motor inside now my plan is I don't I'm not really not sure I'm sure it'll work uh, I just haven't obviously haven't done it yet but there is these black wheels here, and I'm going to take the red wheels out and put them into the chassis where the motor is. 
So hopefully I can do that. Uh, yeah, so there, there's Merlin and there's his chassis. And of course, bundled with his chassis in there was his tender. So I can take that out. And Merlin's tender here, you know, it's pretty standard. Uh, got sticker details. There's no coal in the tender, and basically you were supposed to, like, fill up the tender with coal in the original coal hopper set. Of course, I don't have the actual set here, so I don't really care that Merlin's tender is empty. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. So I'll go ahead and couple them up. And there he is. Yeah, that's fantastic. And so, I gotta wrap this up pretty quickly, but I'm sure this video is very long. I don't know how long it is, but it's probably really long. And apologies, you can hear my dog barking in the background, but yeah. Here is like this little coal tipper car thing that is wrapped around the wheel there. And it, it just kind of snaps into place like that. And yeah, this basically is supposed to hit a special piece of track and like dump the coal into like a little box or whatever. So there's that. I mean, this came in the same set. And I'm guessing, yeah, it just goes here with Thomas. So there you, there you go. And, um, <clears throat> well, I got a lot of trash here. I got to clean up now, but there is everything in the box here. I, you know, I'll go ahead and move all this out of the way so you guys can actually properly see. There's everything we unboxed. And, yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Maximalty1516 signing out.